Hello, everybody. Uh, part of me hopes that the slide actually won't work because uh, they aren't very pretty. But anyway, uh, about a year ago, I graduated from this very place, MIT, and I thought I was fairly ready to face the world, and then I realized there was a lot of stuff I had to learn. Um, after graduation, I got pretty lucky, and I was able to land a job with Al Jazeera America with these lovely colleagues. Um, they've taught me a lot over the past year, things like how to wear fake mustaches. I swear, my fake mustache looks a lot better uh, now than it did then. Um, but one of the biggest things that I've probably learned over the past year is how to talk to people. Um, so talking to people is something that I was always able to do if I had a goal in the conversation. So if I was doing an interview, I always knew what I wanted to get, so I'd be able to talk to them. If I was working on a P-set or a project with people, I always knew what I want, I, we always knew what the goal was, so it wasn't hard to talk. But it always made me a little anxious to walk into a room of people and just do like the little conversation chit-chat thing. Like, it still kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Um, so coming from MIT, well, I'm not going to say people from MIT don't know how to talk, because you can see lots of people from MIT who, here who can actually talk. Um, and actually, like in my major, there's actually a required class, which is basically dubbed the social skills class. Um, and every January, the, one of the most popular classes you can take is a class called Charm School, which is a class where they teach you how to ask someone out, teach you how to go on a date, what you do with all those crazy forks and spoons and, and plates when you go to a fancy dinner. Um, but I can say that academic environments where about 80% of like 90% of the conversations are about having not slept for the past three days, having not seen the sun for the past three days, or um, quantum mechanics, it's not exactly the same thing as when you go out into the real world. Um, so how did I learn to talk to people this year? Um, well, I'm still learning, uh, and I was going to talk about five lessons, but I'm going to sneak one in really quickly, six, because I learned a really important one tonight, don't try to talk to people when they're watching the World Cup. <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, so back to the actual talk. Um, while I was prepping this talk, I tried to uh, crowdsource tips from my friends, the do's and don'ts of talking to people. Um, so I asked 544 of my closest Facebook friends uh, what the do's and don'ts should be. One of my friends just answered, don't. Um, some of my other friends gave me some like, more useful advice, things like you know, share a little bit of information about yourself to build trust, set a goal for the conversation, smile, bring cookies. Um, but one of the things that most of them also said was, I'm terrible at talking to people. I'm an awkward penguin. Um, so this leads to, me, leads to the first lesson that I'm going to talk about, which is probably the most important one I've learned this year. Um, most people aren't totally comfortable just walking up to strangers and talking to them, and that's okay, because everyone else is in the same boat. Uh, so lesson number one is stop thinking that everyone knows how to talk better than you do. Uh, the second lesson I'm going to talk, to, uh, talk about is talking to people requires actual talking. Uh, so let me demonstrate. Uh, imagine you're walking into a room and uh, you want to be able to converse with someone, but you're terrified of talking. So instead, uh, you might try something like this. Do you want to be my new friend? You might end up having to end like, okay, bye. But in all seriousness, talking does require actual talking. Uh, a G chat, a text, or just a yo isn't really as sufficient. Um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm going to move on to lesson number three now. Uh, that's going to be a pretty short one. This one's one that I've learned uh, as a reporter over the past year. It's been pretty important. If you carry a big camera and multiple microphones, you don't have to talk to people. They will come and talk to you. Although sometimes that's just to yell at you and say to get out of my face. Uh, moving on to lesson number four, ask questions. Um, as a journalist, this has been really, really important for me. But also what I've noticed is that if you don't like talking to people, the more questions you ask, the less you actually have to talk to them. Um, so, but just do remember to actually listen to them and look them in the eye and actually maybe ask some questions that are follow-ups to what they say. And lesson number five, finally, Practice makes perfect, and that's actually part of the reason why I'm standing up here today, because hopefully I will be talking a lot over the next couple of days, and that leads me to my challenge to you all, and I hope you guys all uh, also will be talking to each other, and hopefully also to me over the next couple of days. Um, so maybe by next year I'll be able to give a talk like how to make friends in the real world. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, uh, talk to each other and come talk to me afterwards. <laughs>